Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are connecting from. Today, I'm going to show you how to disable control panel and PC settings using the Intune Prohibit Access. So that's what we're going to show you today quickly. So before I start on that, what is uh, for the benefit of those who don't know what Microsoft Intune is. Now, Microsoft Intune is a cloud-based endpoint management solution which manages users access and simplify apps and device management across many devices, including mobile devices, desktop computers, and virtual endpoints. Now, this Microsoft Intune securely manages identities. It manages apps and it manages what? Devices, okay? Now, what are the key benefits? Now, there are key benefits to this Intune. Why most company now are, are using this Intune? Now, one of the key benefits of the Microsoft Intune is you can manage users and devices which includes uh, devices owned by the organization and personal owned devices. So the number two, Intune simplify app management. It simplify what? App management, where you can deploy apps, where you can do updates and then remove apps you don't want for your user. And thirdly, Intune automates policy deployment for apps, security, device configuration, compliance, conditional access, and many more. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can disable the control panel and PC settings using the into prohibit access. Now this is just if you want to um if you want to if you don't want your users to tamper with the application installed on the computers because some user do, might break some of this application. So you can decide to disable this um, control panel. Some users don't even know what control panel is, but they might be playing around and just go there and then break something now, which is going to affect the productivity of the organization. So to avoid such things, you need to what, disable that particular access. So quickly, I'm going to show you how to disable this in the Microsoft Intune environment. So what you need to do, so where you find your Microsoft Intune environment is when you log into your Microsoft admin, when you log into the admin.microsoft, can you see, I hope you can see my screen. When you log into your, Domain. Can you see now when you, start, when you log into the admin.microsoft.com? So when you log into that from there, then you're able to see endpoint manager. Then you click on this endpoint manager. So once you click on the endpoint manager, this will now take you to another environment. It will take you to the endpoint.microsoft.com. Can you see it now? Endpoint.microsoft.com. Now, so how to do that? But before I do that, before I do that, I'm going to show you this thing, how on the prem, on the prem environment, where you can see where you, how to disable this environment. We are not doing the prem, the active directory today, but I'm just going to show you briefly how this is being done on the prem environment. So I'll just show you quickly now, I'm going to bring my server I'm going to bring up my server now and just show you quickly before we move on. Yeah, so good. Now, this is my server 2019. So if you go to your, if you go to the tools here and then you click on the group policy management, can you see that? It's called group policy was management. So when you click on the group policy management and you now come up here, you click on the forest this is the domain, then you go here and then you open this and then you right click here if you click on this edit i'm just showing you so i might probably do a video on how to do that on your prem later on but i just want to show you how 
this is being done so now when you click on this now there you come to this your user configuration when you get to this user configuration then you click on the policy and you click on administrative template then you click on your control panel on your control panel can you see now prohibit access to control panel and pc settings when you then you double click on that and then you see enable you click on enable and you apply that setting so this is how you can also do it on your prem environment but now we are concentrating on doing it and the endpoint manager which is your microsoft intune environment okay now so this is my microsoft intune environment here so can you see it now so for me to be able to apply this particular effect to my users so uh, you can you can specify the users you want to apply this effect to you might not be probably everybody in the organization maybe like the the manager the ceo you might decide not to apply that effect to them but the users you can decide to do that so when you come to environment here like i said your endpoint.microsoft.com so this is it and then you now go to your device you come to your device here come to your device here but quickly before I do this now. I just want to show you. Um, I'm going to bring out uh my user. I'm going to show you this effect. I'm going to show you this thing before I do that now. So I'm going to bring out my virtual machine, my Windows 10 virtual machine. Yeah, this is my Windows 10 virtual machine. Yeah, okay, yeah. So this is this. Let me close this now. So if you come here now, this is the user logging to this particular virtual machine here. So when you come up here now, you go to your start button and you click on control panel, you type control panel. So can you see that the control panel is opening now? So can you see that now? So I just want you to see that this control panel is opening now. Can you see that? So by the time we disable it now, you will not have access. The user won't have access to this control panel environment. So quickly, let me go back to it. So when you now come to your endpoint, Microsoft.com, so you click on your device, devices. So when you click on the devices here, now you, if you look at this, my environment, if you look at the micro, if you look at my Microsoft into admin center, this interface looks different. Why? Because I just updated, I just switched to the new interface that was just released by Microsoft sometime March. So, so your environment might not probably be, might not probably look like this. You understand? So I just switch over to this, but it's still the same things. Okay. So you don't need, don't panic. Okay. So now when you do that, now, when you click on your devices, click on devices, then you come here and click on configuration configuration you click on that configuration and then here you now click on policies click on policies so when you now click on your policies here then you now click on create profile you click on create what profile you click on that so when you now click on that you come up here where you have platform says select platform click on here and then you click on windows 10 and later windows 10 and later so click on this so that windows 10 and later means that it's going to work both on windows 10 and both on windows 11 which is what we have so so you click on that and where you have your profile type you click on this place now and then you now click on settings catalog click on settings catalog so when you now click on that then you now you click on your crate can you see that click on create so when you now click on create here you will now come up here and give it a name so you give it uh, a name okay so give it a name so i will decide to give it let me give it um spare me a second okay uh yes let's give it this yeah disable control panel and pieces so i've given it a name and then you can decide to put your description if you want to you can decide to type the description so i'm just going to put this on my on my description so then you click on your next okay you click on next 
Now, when you now click on your next, you have the configuration settings. On your configuration settings, you come here and click on add settings. Click on the add settings. When you click on it now, a drop of compound where you have in setting picker. So you come here now. Settings. You can decide to type control panel or you go to creative. This is where we are going to click on administrative template. So it's loading now. Yeah, it's going to take a little while. Yeah, administrative template. Okay, I think it's not loading for me. Okay, so I can come up here and type. Let me just type a uh, control panel. And then click on search. Yep. So can you see that now? Click on search. So this come out. And then you now click on administrative template. So click on that. Now, so when you now do that, now you can now see prohibit access to control panel and PC settings. So you check that box. So once you click on that, then you now come here and you click on this. You just click on this toggle. Yeah, you enable it. You understand? So don't forget, come up here. You can type in control panel on the search where you have the search type in control panel or you click on admin. Then you click on this administrative template and then you will see prohibit access to control panel and PC settings. Then you come here and then you click on this. You toggle this to enable that. And then once you are done with that, you click on your next. Yep. You click on next. And here's where you have the scope tag. You can just decide to just ignore this and just click on next now. Now you have the assignment. Now assignment is that who do you want to assign this particular configuration to? Is it the whole user in your tenant or is it a group of people in your tenant? So I will apply those group of people for the benefit of this training. So now I'll click on this add groups. Already I've created a group and this is this that created in my in my Azure Active Directory. So I've created a group in my Azure Active Directory. So I have these two users there. So this is the group I created. This is the name of the group, text win client. So I have two members in that group. Okay. So that is it. So if I come up here now, I will now click on add groups. Yep. Then I'll come up here and I'll search for that. Yeah. So this is, and you now click on select. So you can see I have two users. You can see it's showing me, telling me I have two users in that particular group. So as time goes on, you can add more users to that group and automatically that effect will apply to those users. So now click on your next. Now, so when you click on next, so can you see now this is the, this is what we've done now. We've just enabled this particular settings. Okay. And then you click on create. Yep. Click on create. You see, it will take you a split of seconds. Can you see that now? Policy created. is that like this has been created now. Uh, automatically it should show here for you where I have other policy, but it's not showing for me. So just click on refresh. Yeah. And here you see that particular policy. Can you see that now? So now how do I know if this policy has been applied to my user? Now, if those user, anytime those user log in to their computer, automatically it will be up. up. But I have my user already signed into this particular virtual machine here this is my virtual machine so this is the user one of the users so if you go if i go to my start and then click on this yeah go to start i just want to show you that particular um user so you go to your start so if i go to my start now i click on this settings icon 
now you come here account so can you see that this is the user you see so this is the user now but you see one thing now if you click on this now you go back now and you type your control panel you notice that this user still have access to this control panel and already apply this effect to this user now the reason why this is not taking effect on this user now is because this user is already logged on to this computer as at the time when this policy was created do you understand now so for me to enforce this policy on this user i need to sync that particular policy on this user so what i need to do now i will go to my start button and i'll click on the settings icon you can see you see have access to the setting icon too so but once i enforce this policy automatically this user will not have access to the control panel and the settings you click on account now when you click on account you now go to access work or school click on that now then click on this yeah when you click on this and click on info now when you click on info you now come down here you scroll down and then you click on sync click on sync can click on sync so when you click on sync so automatically so let me try it saying sync oh sorry this let me there's no internet so just bear me a second now let me just connect it to the internet and be able to sync automatically Okay, good. Now I have my internet now on this virtual machine. So I will now click on this sync back again, click on sync. Now you can see the sync is in progress. Can you see it now? So this is in progress. Don't forget that this is a cloud. So you, you must be connected to the internet for this to take place. Okay. So I'm going to sync that user. Now it's, it said this was successful. The sync works successful. So I'm going to close this box now and then try and see if that policy has been if if that policy has been applied to this user so go to your start button now click on settings uh so can you see what happened now can you see so you click on it now, see now that setting box automatically disappear now let me open control panel and see if this user will have so click on it so can you see now Unfortunately, said this operation has been cancelled due to restriction, due to restriction in effect on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. Can you see it now? So automatically, these users in this group, can you see it now? We not have access to that control panel at the PC settings. You can see now. I log in to this particular user on my chat. When I do that, as you can see, that user cannot log in. That user uh, cannot have access to control panel. Again, let me try that. That has taken effect. So this is just similar to what we call on-prem environment. So we can see how this as is i mean it's also been applied in your intune environment i hope you do enjoy this short video thank you for taking your time to watch please kindly like to my youtube channel like follow and share thank you see you in the next video bye bye